Welcome to today's video. We are at Akui Buki, which is a very epic track that's used for Formula Drift here in Japan. It's actually not like a proper circuit. It's more of like the car park and the driveway up to a snow resort here in Shiga, Japan. And hopefully the drone footage did it justice. This is a very dangerous track. There's generally a lot of crashes. It looks like a lot of fun. I hope I get to drive it one day. But we are in the pits. We are actually here thanks to Fausto Yukio from Sideways Experience. He invited me out and wanted to be a part of his team and everything like that. And I have the amazing privilege to be able to vlog everything behind the scenes. Now they've just finished setting everything up and there are some really cool cars and other teams out here which we may get a look at later but for now my priority is to just uh, pretty much catch up with Fausto and see what else he's up to today and what our plans are because I just got here it was literally like a five and a half hour drive for me from my house and uh, I'm pretty beat but I'm pretty excited for tomorrow uh, there's no practice today practice starts tomorrow from 8 a.m. so it's gonna be an early morning so a bunch of footage get excited guys a whole bunch behind the scenes drifting content we'll get some GoPros mounted in the car this is Faustal's S15 here. He's running a 2JZ. We'll pop the hood later and stuff like that. Are you excited? Yeah, You're going to yeah. smash doors? Last year I don't have really good results here, so this year I have to revenge this. You got to send it. Yeah. Hell yeah. All right. It's good, so. <laughs> it looks good. So good, man. This is like S15 goals for anyone, I think. And we got Matty Hill's S15 over there too. He can't make it, unfortunately, because of the whole pandemic. But uh, Faustal will make him proud. <laughs> so we are now heading to go check out the course and see if anything's changed since last year. Geez, the equipment they have around here is insane. Don't forget, this is literally normally a snow resort and so there's just snow everywhere usually. So it's kind of uh, a special, I guess, opportunity that this gets to be used as a drift circuit. So um, yeah, we're gonna go check out the entire track and just really see if anything's changed this year, which is super important to do as a competitor, right? Uh, to make sure that uh, you know what you're getting yourself into and there's no surprises, right? So this is technically the top of the track. The starting line is down there and they come up and then they do the loop here and then head back down. This is gonna be so cool. Have you crashed here before? Yes. Yeah? Where'd you crash? Up the hill. Oh. Do you see the sponge there? Yep. You sit there and crack the front member and the rear member. Oof. So that was you done? Yeah. Dang. So not gonna happen again. <laughs> Hopefully, right? This four door over here, I kinda like it. Definitely looks like it gets around a bit. Very cool. Robbie, what are you doing here, man? What's up? What's good? I'm just hanging out. You're just hanging out? Yeah. You excited? Yeah, Dude, this I looks mean, sick. Yeah, no, this track's cool. It's technical. Yeah, it's interesting to watch, too. And we get to sit up there and watch, so. You, you'll probably be able to come up um, to this far and You're gonna have to kind of drive up or walk up here. Oh, okay. No, you can't walk, actually. You have to get in, you have to be in a vehicle, because okay. they don't want anybody crossing there, because since we don't have any spectators, uh, yeah. we're not putting up any of the nets or anything. Yeah, 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 so, so it'd be very dangerous if they were doing runs there, right? Yeah, so you're just gonna have to drive up here and stuff, but okay. it's a pretty cool view from yeah. up there, because you can pretty much see everything. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. It's gonna be so cool. First time kind of like behind the scenes here at FT. I'm pumped. So when are you gonna come out here and drive this? Uh, as soon as possible, as soon as I can. Can you get me my uh, my license? Oh man, it's like if you got, I mean, you got money. <laughs> I don't have any LZ money. <laughs> we'll talk then. No, we'll talk. <laughs> no, but it's fairly it's fairly straightforward. Like a lot of the Japanese drivers, hmm. kind of. I mean, everybody's really really into speed in Japan. Yeah. And you know they grip up their cars a lot, so it's kind of the other way around where they want the car to run the outside line as much as possible with a lot of angle but at yeah. the same time it automatically makes the car fast yeah so when you compare you know um, a lot of the japanese driving then when you car when you compare the u.s like fd in the u.s too i mean the cars are like rocket ships yeah They're insane like 200 treadwear or whatever tires. yeah so you can actually make the car move that way yeah and also you know make it controllable too so this is a new thing where uh we have the whole tire rule here all you have to do is just make sure that you run the outside line, you know, don't worry about the car that's chasing you. Yeah. And get it. Yeah, and you get it. it. Yeah. So, so like, for everyone who's watching, how, what's the usual route to get to FT Japan? Like, what what's competitions or, or tests or stuff like okay, that to get so into it? We're, right now, the only way in is 
like let's say if you're foreign mm. and if you have something from you know whatever country we're going to evaluate that to see you know, okay. the level of the driving and the level of you know the competition but uh, the easiest way if you're in japan you go to a msc event mm -hmm. which is kind of like a pro-am almost okay and there's i think this year i don't know if there's four usually about four a year usually before the season and after the season and you have to be top whatever i think if you're on the podium for that then most likely you know you, you can get your ft license in, yeah and then it it's pretty much before it used to be a little different where they judged it different but now they judge it well now we judge it where it's the same exact way we do it in fd okay so it's like it'll it'll get you kind of used to it yeah so it's we don't do top 32 but it's top 30 top 16 yeah after that the the way we judge it is three judges mm. you know the similar way of fd and that's really like cool that, yeah i like that yeah. So if I was to, let's just say, I podiumed in MSC, mm -hmm. I then started competing in FD Japan, and let's say in a couple years, you know, maybe I don't get podium or whatever like that. But if, as an FD Japan driver, if I wanted to then have a shot at the US, mm -hmm. is there anything like, can I kind of transfer into that or do I have to do something else to then get into FD US as well? Yeah, so that too, I think um, the top power of many drivers get FD US license when you're in FD Japan, mm -hmm. that's how, I don't even know if it's possible right now or not because of the whole COVID thing. Yeah. Um, Shinji Minoa, hmm. uh, Masayama. Masayama is actually over there, so he is going to be competing. Oh, that's cool. There. He got over so, there. Yeah. So, like guys like that, those are the guys that got, they went through MSC, then they came to FD Japan, and they worked at it, and now they're in the States too. That's so, so cool. Um, for the guys that are on this side of the world, like Australia, New Zealand, you know, in Asia, the guys that don't have the chance to, you know, go for the FDUS license, it's really hard to find a car over there, run a program, program over yeah. there and stuff like that. So what you can do is, you know, show off your skills here, mm. with what you got. Um, you know, if you're used to driving right-hand drive cars, there's a lot of cars that you can drive in Japan that's right-hand drive. Yeah. You can try to get your license here. Mm. And I think it's a lot more inexpensive to do in Japan because oh, the yeah, cost for real. is not, you know, we're, we're talking everybody in the U.S. is at least spending like 20 you know oh, plus K plus just yeah. on you know just on moving their stuff yeah yeah, so yeah. You got plane tickets and all those yeah. stuff. so before you get into that you can actually try to do you know um fd japan and it's not a walk in the park either so mm. uh, it's almost like the grassroots approach you know what i mean like working your way up yeah, yeah, yeah. it's super cool i like it and you know some people want like some people really really want the uh license just to go there i don't know if it's like for a status reason or if it's for just because that's their dream and they want to you know yeah. take a shortcut but you know my honest opinion it's the best way to go to msc if you're good enough to compete in fd japan or if you're good enough to compete in the u.s yeah. you should be able to yeah you know it should be a walk in the park yeah. if your your car and your team and your driving is really well you should be able to go to msc and kind of dominate it mm. and come into fd japan and even dominate that too and go to the u.s you know that would be like a super cool success story there. yeah I'm pumped. Hopefully, I can get there one day. Yeah, man. I mean, dude, drifting's easy. Dude. Like, like, <laughs> get out of here. Like, go like this and boom. Done. Yep. All right, very buddy. Simple. You make it seem very simple, but it is. <laughs> All right, I'm excited tomorrow. Why, I'll see you then. I never got champion. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, how cool is this? Starting here, all the way up here, the loop, and then back down. So freaking cool. You're li they're literally like. FD, drifting competition around a river here in the mountains at a snow resort. <laughs> so epic. So coming down the track here, you got the kind of the foam blocks here. Now these normally like they appear like, you know, they're really good for the car to like save it and stuff like that. And they do. But if sometimes if you like clip these, they will suck you in just like a real wall. If you clip a real wall, they suck you in. I'm sure you guys have seen that in like uh, some of the old D1 and like option and hot version videos where when drivers get too close to them and they clip them and there's a bunch of foam there, it actually sucks the whole car in and flips it in. So, well, they definitely like, if you're having a front on crash, they kind of, I guess, help a little bit. Well, not really, you're still gonna wreck stuff. But uh, yeah, so we we're at the starting line here. Damn, how good does that view look with the sign? Okay, I keep talking about the view, I know. And down here is uh, where the drivers are gonna be obviously warming up their tires and stuff like that. Then they're gonna come through in here and line up. And then uh, pretty much from there, they go. It's such a short little circuit or little course, right? And uh, 
when you're watching the live stream and all the footage, it just looks so insane. Seriously, such a cool little track. I wonder what kind of speeds they get up to, like on the entrance here, being uphill like this. I imagine like you got to really control the throttle because if you just put your foot down, you're going to wheel spin the whole way up. Initiate into here, I guess. Oh man, I'm so excited to watch the guys practice tomorrow morning. Maybe put the drone up and get a really good understanding of this layout. If I ever make it to FD, and I know we can, I will get there one day. Um, I'm just really excited to be here and really like see how it all goes down. Cool. So I'm just talking with Falsto and I'm getting him to lay out the track. Because you've driven this before. Yeah, last year. Last year. Didn't do so well, but this year is the year yeah. of redemption. Yeah, for sure. So this year the car is so much easier to drive. Yep. So the initiation here, you come like from down there up mm -hmm. to you. First, second, third. Some cars initiation fourth gear. Yep. And you have the initiation before here. Yep. And you flick the car just before the last cone. There. The last cone. So you have to be completely so sideways. Initiation the out zone. Yep. And get the first out zone. I think the ten points for the first one. Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah, because yeah, right up against that wall. Yeah. You know about that wrist point, right? Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah you have to do the other clips there. So okay, and then you come back down, right? Come back down, you have to finish just after the yellow line there. Okay. So right there. And you can straight here after. You can finish the line and go inside on the right. Okay. So because the chase car is going to crash. So yeah. You have to come wide. Yeah. Outside. Man, that looks tight too. Yeah, bro. <laughs> it's so cool though that you're literally like drifting around a river too. Yeah. Isn't yeah. that sick? You remember, I think five years ago, Yoko just hit the concrete there. Yeah, right? Yeah, it's the same place. Uh, <laughs> people are scared about the corner there. Yeah, well, I mean, it's pretty high. It's pretty high. <laughs> Imagine trying to recover your drift yeah. car out of there. The concrete is pretty solid. Yeah, I don't think you're going to go through it, but uh, you might go over it. <laughs> So this is the first outer zone here, um, which then brings you in and they're literally drifting over that little bridge there into that section there where they loop and come back down. And this is the inner zone here, the clipping point. So there's really, it's really tight here, just between here and here. And you literally come through over this little bridge. Jeez, the, the road condition, it's a bit interesting. And you come into here, there's a front clipping point there. I think... I'll check with Falstall, but I think you come in here and go around and come out this way. That would make more sense to me. Very cool. Came up here to check out the judge's position. Damn, look at this. You get to see everything. You can see the initiation point, the whole layout. All the way to the starting line from up here. That's sick. So you might be actually wondering like how come a snow resort is letting FD, you know, drift on their like entrance road here and car park and stuff. And the answer is, is, well, obviously it's not snowing right now and they don't really have any other kind of facilities that are catered to when it's out of season. So what they actually do, which is very similar to with a lot of places in Japan, is they rent out all these massive car parks here and you can see all the skid marks in all of them as well as that one there, all of them are used for drifting events here locally. So locals come here, they rent the car park space, and the guys then off season are still able to make some money, which I think is really, really cool. A lot of like, uh, for instance, Gunsai uh, Toge course and stuff, that was initially for bikes. And off season, they used to rent it out. Now, obviously no one really actually rides their bikes there anymore. And when I say bikes, I mean like proper bicycle, like push bike. No one's actually really rides it that much anymore. I, I don't even think they even have any bike events there anymore and it's purely just become a racetrack. But places like that literally became tracks for drifting and stuff like that as a means of them making extra income off season. And I think it's really good because obviously it means that you're able to drive more and there's more tracks and more opportunities and just for instance FD being able to use this place and make a really cool little course for a competition like that. I think it's sick. And you can see up there all the chairlifts on the mountains there that take everyone up the slopes and stuff. There you go, you can see them there and through up and in there. Super cool. So these, we need to come out here in winter and do some snowboarding vlogs. You guys remember all the OGs know about my old snowboarding vlogs. I miss snowboarding, we need to get back into it. 
And as you can see, everyone gets put to work here at FD. One of the judges, Robbie Nishida, is literally drilling holes for clipping points. What an absolute champion. This guy is out here literally fishing. I need to ask him if he'll let me borrow his rod. I want to catch some fish. Like, I don't even know if there'd be fish in there. It's like pretty fast flowing. Maybe there is. I don't know. I, I want to fish though. It's so weird to see an F-250 here. Or is that a 350? It is a 350 here in, this, in Japan. So cool. Okay, now there's a couple guys fishing here now. <laughs> I guess all the mechanics here are trying to catch their dinner. Who doesn't like a little tunnel rip for the boys, eh? Woo! <laughs> that scared me a bit. So we're now going to head to the hotel, check in and all of that, and find a sick restaurant to just chill out. We'll pick up the vlog once we're there and kind of settle it in. Let's see what the hotel room's like, hey? Probably gonna be really small, typical Japanese one. Yep. <laughs> it's literally like a closet. At least I get a double bed, that's a plus actually. Really happy about that. Ooh, if you guys don't know about these, these are pretty much your um, your sleeping robes here in Japan. You put that on after you have a shower and you go to bed and that. You're naked under it, obviously. Anyways, all right. I'm gonna unpack everything, put everything on the charger, and we're gonna go find an epic place to eat. I just got back from eating dinner and I'm gonna try my hardest to go to bed as early as I can. So I wanna smash out this video and go to bed. I have to be awake at five o'clock tomorrow. Then we have to leave the hotel by 5.30 and get to the track as soon as we can. It's about a 45 minute drive from here. Um, practice starts from eight o'clock. So uh, Fausto needs to obviously get there as early as he can, set everything up, get his car running, make sure that's all good so he can start practicing from eight o'clock. And then I think from 1 or 2 p.m., I believe, is when uh, qualifying starts. Also, guys, I'm going to put a link in the description if uh, you guys want to watch the live stream and stuff. So you guys can click on that and save it, maybe even set an alarm um, so that you guys have an opportunity to watch the live stream when that goes on. I'm just really pumped and I hope you guys are too to see the content that's going to come out of everything behind the scenes at FD here in Japan. I don't think anyone's ever done that. And I think it's just gonna be a really cool perspective for you guys to just see everything that happens there. So with that guys, smash that like button, write us a comment, and I will see you all in tomorrow's video. It's gonna be epic. I cannot wait to uh, get some cool footage of some pro drivers literally bashing doors. Peace out guys. Jamata.